Hello everyone, Micah Fights with Friends. Super flashback today. I bought these DVDs in, I believe, about 1999, 2000. This is from a competition called World Valley Tudo Championship. Uh, it was based in Brazil. This was the first event. It was in 1996. Now, what I'm going to be covering today is the super fight. It was between UFC champion number three, Steve Jenham, and UFC seven champion, the king of the streets, Marco Huas. Uh, let's join this now from Brazil for the super fight. I had bought these on DVD uh, when, you know, the internet didn't really have much video and stuff like that back then. Uh, so I had to order them on eBay. Good old eBay, and I kind of forgot, honestly, that I even had them. But uh, here we go. So now we're going to watch it together. I never actually ended up watching this match. So this is considered the super fight. Uh, like I said, UFC 3 champion Steve Jenham. Uh, for those that don't know... Steve Jenham won UFC number three, but he only had to win one match. One match. Uh, after that, they decided that they better get alternatives. So what happened was Hoist Gracie fought Kimo Leopoldo in a legendary match. It was about a 15-minute match. And it was, of course, one of those tournaments where you have to fight. I think you had to fight four times at the beginning at a night to win it. And there's Steve Jenham right there. Uh, Hoist Gracie, after beating Kimo Leopoldo in a 16-minute battle. Now, remember, there's no rules back then. There's no rounds. Uh, you're fighting four or five times a night uh, because there was a 16-man tournament. When Hoist won it in the second one, it was the only one that was 16. That one had eight. But uh, like I said, Marco Huas, a Valley Tudo expert, Steve Jenham, a uh, police officer, but I don't think Steve Jenham ever wins that Ultimate Fighting Championship if he's not able to go in there fresh, win one fight, and end up walking out of there with 60 Gs, which at the time, you know, was a pretty good amount of money because nobody was getting paid for doing this. Uh, now, World Valley Championship 2 Doe, of course, started recruiting stars from the UFC. Marco Huas was from... Brazil anyways. Uh, Marco Huas won UFC 7. Like I said, he has some of the most incredible leg kicks in the history of mixed martial arts. And that's the first time I've really seen someone effectively use leg kicks in the UFC. And he was fighting Paul Varlins, who was six foot seven, 330 pounds. And Marco Huas kicked his legs. Uh, it took about 12, 15 minutes, because uh, no rounds there. I want to say somewhere. I want to say it's somewhere in between 10 and 15 minutes. I don't remember the exact time. Anyways, Marco Huas kicked this 320-pound guy in the legs until he could no longer stand. He collapsed. Marco Huas throws a couple shots, and referee John McCarthy, I believe, stopped the fight. Paul Varlins may have tapped out. Can't remember for sure. It's been a very long time. But this is from 1996. Now remember. The UFC just started in November of 93, so almost 94. So it's just a couple years after the debut of the UFC. And so Valley Tudo Championship, as you can see, was like Brazil's version of the UFC. Uh, of course, it was inside of a ring instead of a cage. You can see there's no netting. Uh, they don't really have a lot of people around the outside like you'll see on Ryzen and Pride, where they do a really good job of that. But first, they're announcing the winner of UFC champion number three. He's 35 years old, weighed in at 200 pounds from Omaha, Nebraska, the police officer, Steve the Ninja Jenum. And... Interesting enough, a lot of guys were still going in with their gi at this time. Hoist was going in with this gi at this time. And you could see Steve Jenham was in at this gi at this time. Strategy for a lot of people was that they want people to grab that gi. Now, Marco Huas is a several-time World Valley Tudo champion. Uh, I believe the Valley Tudo was 
under a different promotion at the time because this was the first event of this promotion. Uh, now, he was, like I said, there was UFC 3 champion. He had won several different kind of mixed martial arts combinations. He was a bo Brazil boxing champion. You can see there are no gloves, no shoes, and uh, not a whole hell of a lot of rules. Here we go. Marco Huas in the, just the black shorts, Steve Jenham in the gi, and Steve Jenham's wearing that gi because he you, generally he wants people to get a hold of him. Marco Huas is not the guy that he wants to get a hold of him, and there's an, uh, a judo throw right away, sweeps him, already landing that ground and pound, and the, remember there's no rules as far as to the back of the head at that time. 12-6 elbows are legal, soccer kicks are still legal. I mean, this is back in the good old days, as some people would say. Some people would say the gruesome days. But legendary king of the streets, Marco Huas, against the police officer and UFC 3 champion, Steve Jenham. Now, you see Marco use, just using that elbow. He learns that from jiu-jitsu and judo. Um, I've talked about this on Fights of Friends, using that elbow or hand to push against the jaw. See him kind of trying to pin the arm back there uh, was Marco Huas. Remember, this is still 1996. Uh, Marco Huas is towards the top of the game for that time as far as, you know, ground and standing. And they were just mentioning Marco Huas had taken a seven-month layoff uh, to work on his skills, even above and beyond where he was. And there's a nice short elbow uh, there from Marco Huas. Uh, kind of a kind of some forearms there. Oh, and you can see definitely some pain in Steve Jenham right there. Uh, getting a cut there. They were wearing mouthpieces. At least they did have the mouthpieces. Just no gloves. And uh, that did not last a long time. I'm guessing Steve Jenham had a broken jaw because, oh, look at that blood coming across his mouth. I believe that is a broken jaw. Sometimes that happens very easily, and Steve Jenham loses tap out or verbal submission two strikes, and that's it. Marco Huas takes care of business in a minute and something. Um, like I said, I hadn't watched that yet, so if that wasn't exciting, uh, I'm watching it with you guys. I'm going to watch some more of these, though. Post some more of these. Um, I think we know what the official result is, uh, which is always interesting that they think they have to do that. Winner, Marco Huas. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit, at least of history. Not a whole long fight. I guess I think they said minute 45 seconds. Winner, king of the streets, Marco Huas. That was your super fight for Valley Tudo Championship number one. If you like what I do here, please hit that like button. If you are new to Fights of Friends, please subscribe if you want to watch more kinds of videos like this, video breakdowns, and hear the newest as far as mixed martial arts news. I'd like to invite you to the Fights of Friends family. As always, I love you, I respect you, and I'll see your fine asses later.